Et nous nous retrouvons avec l'équipe de Jimmy's Hall. Et ici, nous sommes avec la crew de Jimmy's Hall. Bienvenue à tous les gens. Merci d'être là. Merci, Simon Kirby. Merci, Barry Ward. Merci à tous les gens. Bonjour, Paul Laverty. Bienvenue. Back to Ken again, and of course, Ken Loach. And the rumor has it that this will be your last film, your last uh, feature film drama. Well, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll see the World Cup and see what the autumn brings. Um, but um, I don't know. It seems we brought the Irish weather uh, to Cannes because uh, you hear the thunder abroad. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know. Um, I, I think we'll probably get one little one more out ah. if there's enough petrol in the tank. Ah. Sure, there will be. Oh, but j'espère vous le souhaitez. On viendra le remplir. I hope so, and we'll try. We hope that we'll be able to put uh, to keep enough petrol in the tank. And so the story of Jimmy Grelton, ten years after the wind that shakes the barley. He's a militant, a political militant, a militant of culture and dance. Is that which appealed to you? Um, yeah, I mean, he, he established a, a dance hall, which was a free space for people to talk and have fun and dance and, and exchange ideas. And that, that was a threat to the powers that be. So it's um, the story of the story of the struggle to keep the hall open. Right. Paul Laverty, qu'est-ce qui vous semble important de dire And Paul Laverty, what seemed important to you because you suggested this topic to Ken. What did you think was important about it? And well, Jimmy Grelton was such a remarkable character. He was a real free spirit, a very charismatic character, and not poor-faced and miserable, but one a person who just wanted to build a hall where people could meet to think and to dance, but there was great mischief and great fun about him. He was one of these people who empower people, this kind of dynamic in the community. And um, so we thought just from this very simple space, we could just look at lots of aspects of, of, of Irish life. And of course, he had just come back from New York as well, 10 years in New York. He'd seen the booming 20s, he saw the depression, and there he was bringing back all that world he had seen back to this, this tiny hall. So he was a tremendously warm and generous character, and that was very attractive. Yeah. For you, Barry Ward, it must be a wonderful to play such a hero. How did you prepare your role of Jimmy Grelton? Well, we were um, given the luxury of a long rehearsal period, and these guys have been, I mean, they've been making movies for a very long time, so it's a well-oiled machine. I was in safe hands. But um, Ken was insistent that I had calloused hands, so he <laughs> put me to work on a farm and leech him for a few weeks, uh, just in, in, in which time I could embed myself in, 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 in um, their way of living, I guess, you know. So it was, it was, I had plenty of time to prepare. How do you, do you see uh, Jimmy Grelton today, Barry Wood? I think uh, his spirit is embodied in many people today. There are Jimmy Graltons everywhere, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, just look, keep your eyes open for him. Simon uh, Kirby. And Simon Kirby, Ken Loach's view on Ireland and this period, uh, did you know this story, this uh, period that you play here? I didn't know the story of Jimmy Grelton before we did the film, but the, uh, the period, my grandmother's would have been, you know, at this time in, in, in the west of Ireland. So I knew a lot about that lifestyle and... Um, farm life in the west of Ireland in the 1930s and 40s and so but I had never heard of Jimmy Grelton before before we did this film so I was really I was really surprised that it was a story that I wasn't familiar with Ça veut dire qu'il est oublié aujourd'hui dans l'Irlande d'aujourd'hui This mean he's forgotten in Ireland today he's not taught uh, in history books so uh, you don't study about him you don't no. learn about him in school No we never learned about him in school I think in Leitrim there, people are more aware of him in Leitrim, you know, because he still has family there. But right. um, I grew up in Clare, which is, you know, a few hours south. And I had never heard of him, never learned of him in school. So I think it's great that people will finally hear about him, you know, and, and, and know his story. 
C'est le rôle aussi du cinéma de, de, And is that also the role of cinema de, to teach de, de such moments of history, de, to bring them back to mind, uh, stories people have forgotten because few, nobody knew about it in, in France, but in Ireland. Yeah, uh, well, it's, uh, it's part of the function, but main, mainly is to tell a good story, um, but to tell a story that's got something to say to us today, you know. Um, Because, as Barry was saying, there, there are people like Jimmy all around, you know. There'll be people in, right. in this country, certainly in ours, uh, who light up the community, but who face massive opposition. And it's, it's, it's the struggle that Jimmy has. It, it's, it's, um, and, of course, he, he loses in the end. Um, shouldn't give the end away, but, it, <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, he doesn't... Um, it's not easy. I mean, it, it's the forces against him that have their reasons. You know, it's it's a complicated struggle, um, and it's it's the complexity of the struggle that's interesting, and and why it's an important story to tell. Yeah. And uh, Ashling suffers uh, suffers from the the sharp end of that struggle in the film. Can I just say as well, it's no surprise too that um, lots of people don't know about Jimmy Gralton because they did their very, very best to wipe out all trace of his memory. And even when we were researching this with the historical advisor Donald O'Driscoll, a wonderful academic in Cork, we found out that all the papers relating to Jimmy's life are no longer there. They've been moved. So they wanted to wipe the memory clean. It wasn't enough that they were so strong in his own life, but they wanted to make sure there was no memory about him, which I also think is very significant. Um, but uh, Ashling, she, she was brilliant with all the dancing. Maybe she wants to say a word about the dancing oui, and everything. Ce which is lui, ce que lui poser yes, comme question, that's parce the que question I wanted to ask, uh, because the dance uh, scenes uh, are uh, wonderful. <laughs> and I had prepared this question. Uh, <laughs> so how did you prepare for these dances of the time uh, and jazz, jazz because uh, Jimmy Grouton brings jazz records. How did how was it for you? Um, it was just such a fun experience. Um, oui, we started, I mean, about two months before we actually started shooting, we had dance rehearsals. So we all gathered in a community hall, which is kind of cool to learn um, the dances from the time. And we had two different choreographers, one for like, the Irish dancing and one for the jazz. And oh, it was just such a wonderful life-affirming experience. <laughs> so, yeah. On s'amusait autant qu'aujourd'hui. Uh, did people have as much fun then as now? What yeah. is your feeling about that? Um, I mean, I suppose only in the moments when they had someone like James Grouton to provide a place where they could have that. Yeah. But um, they certainly struggled an awful lot for the moments of joy. So I think that film kind of shows that He's, that's what a community should be for, a community hall should be for, so that people can have that kind of fun and have some joy in their lives. <laughs> And that's true. And there's nothing Manichaean about it. You said it was uh, there was a complexity, and the church and the, those who were opponents of the church had their reasons, some good reasons in some cases. And I imagine this was important for you. Yeah. Well, from the churches. I guess the the alliance, the unholy alliance, was between the church, the Catholic Church, right. and the the men of property, right. the people who owned the land, mm. and and they both had an interest in suppressing Jimmy. The mm. church wanted to control education, mm. and um, all uh, uh, entertainment, and the the landed the landed people needed to oppose Jimmy because Jimmy led the putting evicted tenants back into their houses. So he was on the side of the poor, and the, obviously that didn't see the men of property. So with that, that alliance was very strong, and it, and it, it was a, a, very, uh, a very harsh struggle for Jim and his mm. friends to, to, to keep going. Mm. Um, but that, that's uh, replicated today, isn't it, right. um, in, in many, many places. Right. And I, I think, too, there was tremendous... What attracted us to the story, too, Jim and his colleagues, there was tremendous, tremendous physical courage because it's hard to imagine just the power that the church had over people's minds and imagination mm. in those days. So when they were deemed to be antichrists, that's what they called them, mm. antichrists, they were seen as communists, they were seen as evil. Um, I mean, it did put them in remarkable danger. Mm. You know, and so I'm always amazed now when I, you, know, you come across activists now who put themselves in danger for what they believe. 
you know, the, the teachers in Greece just now who are threatened by Golden Dawn teaching immigrants. Everywhere you look, you will find the modern equivalent of these people who physically put themselves in great danger. And sometimes we may look back in the film of Jimmy because there is so much mirth and so much fun and so much music and dance in that hall. You know, there's a, there's a light touch to that. But for these people to do that, they really did risk the, their own lives. Ce, courage, that is what's so interesting in the film. There's this courage and uh, the dance. Uh, it's about beauty uh, versus opposition versus uh, uh, persecution. Now, they don't. Jimmy Grouton doesn't fight with weapons. He has another way of fighting. Well, he fights with ideas, and he, f he fights with, um, with just releasing the, the human spirit, really. Um, and it's a group of them. It's, it's not just one guy. But Paul was talking about the people who face it now. You know, you think of people like Chelsea Manning, who, mm. um, who told the dirt, America's dirty secrets. Mm. It's not the murderers who are in prison. It's Chelsea Manning, mm. uh, Georgillian Assange, or, or the, um, the, the, the people who have faced the women who are facing terrible suffering because they're just looking for education right. across the world. So it's, it's a theme that recurs and recurs. How do you suppress the, how does, how does the ruling elite suppress the dissident? Mm. And Jimmy was a classic case of the dissident who mm. working for the common people, but of course he had to, he had to be suppressed. Mm. So, um, but uh, it was, as Paul said, he's a man of great vitality and, and that in a way is, is the sadness of it was that that's right to be for the enjoyment right, and right. the comedy, which um, which they couldn't stand. Yeah. One other thing, another thing that was very very important to us, and I think there's a great need of this just now. What was lovely about Jimmy? He was a generous man. He was non sectarian. Right. You know, he built bridges right. with people. You know, his own sister was a nun. And he actually understood what the church was against. And then he kind of almost, he was so intelligent, I think he understood that the church must try and crush him. But at the same time, he was trying to build bridges. So that they said, right, let's do something really important for these kids who are, who are faced with unemployment. Because it's a time of great crisis, don't forget. I mean, in many ways, it was uncanny hearing Jimmy's speech, you know, from the 19, 1932, how it echoed today. He'd seen the Roaring Twenties, he'd seen the Depression. And of course, when you hear Jimmy's speech, which, you know, we were inspired by the real events in 1930, it rings true today. Once again, you see many people in Ireland who are having to leave, leave their country once again looking for work. There was a crisis with the banks, emanating from a crisis, emanating from the United States. It was almost like the same thing repeating itself 80 years later. You know, so he was a man who, who tried to build bridges. He tried to make, you know, contact, not only with just with politics and power, but with music and fun. And his secret weapon was the gramophone record. Yeah, right. You know, he brought back genial, that music, he brought back the blues, he brought back Paul Robson. Yeah. You know, so you, he's a man you would love, yeah. you know, and they crushed him, and that's what's interesting. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm totally agree. Jazz was the agree. devil's music, <laughs> you know, it led, led to all occasions of sin, so it had to be, had to be suppressed. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a, qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terrible, c'est que ça renvoie à un film qui a ouvert la compétition. Et ce qui est terr